like I'll leave verses for me. God not. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Tyler and welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I have a brand new life story for you guys, one I've never shared before, but I have briefly mentioned it way back, like literally two, three years ago on my channel, but I've never really talked about this entire situation properly. And in the background of today's video, I decided I'd go ahead and use some Fortnite gameplay since I've been playing the absolute fuck out of this game. And speaking about Fortnite, if you guys want to come watch me stream, I'm going to be streaming Fortnite and MW2 later on tonight, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So be sure to check out the link down below. It'll take you straight to my live stream over on Twitch. But without any further ado let's jump right into today's story so all of this ends up taking place around my 10th grade year towards the end of my 10th grade year and for those of you who've been subscribed to my channel for a while now and watched some of my older story videos you would have known that i went to boarding school for quite a period of time and i was at this boarding school for maybe one semester of my 11th grade year of high school and today's story is pretty much just going to be explaining the entire situation of how i got myself to go to this boarding school or how i got myself in the situation of where my parents put me into a boarding school and the story today is basically just going to be kind of explaining how i got myself in the situation so this whole thing ended up starting out on a Friday afternoon and at the time I was like really into graffiti I was always constantly like using markers and drawing in fucking sketchbooks and stuff during class and doing like just random doodles and stuff when I should have really been doing my schoolwork and for a good while I was basically bringing like sharpies and paint markers with me to school every single day and it had gotten to the point where it was like I was just kind of becoming bored and in between classes you know my friends and I would go into the bathroom in the school and go write graffiti on the fucking bathroom stalls just random shit and it had gotten to a point where we were doing it so often that pretty much every single bathroom and the school was just destroyed and they weren't like painting over them or doing anything about it and so by this point the school administration was super on top of like the whole graffiti thing and they're really trying to get to the bottom of who is doing all this shit and so i'd heard from like rumors through friends and stuff that they were looking for the person who was doing all this graffiti in the bathroom and obviously since i knew it was myself i kind of chilled out on bringing markers for a little bit i didn't bring any markers for like maybe a solid month straight no markers no sketch material like nothing like that and so this one particular day comes around like i said it was a friday afternoon when all of this ended up happening and this was about a month after the whole like investigation of the graffiti shit in the bathroom and I had decided since it was Friday afternoon you know I was bringing my skateboard I was gonna go skate with my friends after school and I had like all these markers and a bunch of other shit in my backpack and so I'm going about my day as usual throughout school like literally nothing's happening until lunchtime and I'm sitting here with my friends just fucking around like talking and we overhear this kid and we had this kid in our school who was literally destined to be a fucking preacher at some point in life I mean he was this like little black kid and he would carry around a bible with him every fucking day and he'd just sit there at lunch like preaching random bible verses and stuff and so this one particular friday at lunch i was sitting there and i overheard him with my friends and i just like jokingly had said something like oh we love satan just to kind of like irk him and get him to say some ridiculous shit and in the midst of doing so our like school police officer who was there in the cafeteria had overheard me and apparently got fucking offended as shit by me saying oh we love satan and so this police or resource officer ends up pulling me aside me and my friends and she's sitting here talking and she's like oh we're gonna get the principal down here we're gonna talk about like this whole situation and I'm sitting here kind of arguing with this police officer at this point like look we're in a public school I have freedom of speech I can say whatever the fuck I want if he wants to preach about fucking god why can't I say whatever I want to there's no difference it's a public school and she did not like that at all she did not like the fact that I you know obviously and clearly was right in my situation so she ends up calling down the principal and the uh, head of the disciplinary office so about two minutes three minutes pass I'm standing down there like this officer is basically holding me and the next thing I know my principal and the head of the disciplinary office come around the corner and they like come up to me and they start sitting down and talking to me and so when they sit down and talk to me they're like so you're the one who's sitting here saying satan shit and i was just like um yeah i guess but it's not really a big deal you know and then the head of the disciplinary office chimes in and he goes oh no we've been looking for you for something else as well and so immediately when they said that i knew what the fuck was up i knew they were talking about the fucking graffiti in the bathrooms and shit like that and so at this point i'm getting kind of nervous because i knew i have like maybe 30 fucking permanent markers and paint markers and various stickers and shit like that in my backpack as well as a pack of cigarettes and a fucking like dime bag of weed so i'm sitting here talking to the principal and the head of the discipline office and when he brings up the whole like we know that we've been looking for you or whatever he ended up asking to search my bag and because it was the head of the disciplinary office and the fucking principal i had to give them my bag because that was kind of like a school policy they weren't a cop so they didn't have like you know they didn't need a warrant to search my bag so at this point i was just like pretty much fucked and i was like i gave a sigh out you know handed my bag i was like all right whatever fuck it there's nothing i can do at this point and so of course the resource officer and my principal open up the bag literally see nothing but markers not even school just markers and stickers and like this pack of cigarettes at the bottom of my bag and they're like all right 
right, yep, come with me. And they take me into the principal's office, and I sit down with the principal and the head of the disciplinary, and they end up calling my mom, obviously, you know, going through the whole shit, and they're, like, explaining to my mom over the phone, you know, we caught him with cigarettes, you know, a little bit of weed on him, and all these fucking markers, and we know that he's been doing all the graffiti, like, all the markers that he had in his bag line up to the ones that are in, are being used in the bathrooms. And essentially, as I'm sitting here in the office, my head of disciplinary and the principal gives me and my mother two options of what we can do. And essentially, what the two options were was one of them I could go to, like, some shitty alternative school and just immediately have my fucking record cleared or whatever. And the other option they gave me was that I was going to be expelled from the school, I was going to have to go to court and then, like, essentially find another school on my own to go to. And when they gave us that option, like, obviously I did not want to go to any sort of, like, alternative school or anything like that. And about two months later, I ended up going to court and all I had to do was literally write a fucking, like, two-page apology essay to the school. And after I had done that, all my charges against me were going to be dropped so that I had nothing on my permanent record, which was fucking amazing. And so after I finished the whole court process, my mom kind of decides to end up enrolling me into this, like, boarding school thing. But yeah, at this point, there really isn't much left to this story other than the fact that I just went to a fucking boarding school. See, I think the thing with this story was I got really, really lucky, and I feel like the whole graffiti and all the markers and shit kind of overshadowed the weed because it really was like they didn't even realize that it was there. I mean, obviously, when I went into court, it was there on my charges and everything, but throughout the entire system, no one made any sort of deal about the weed, really, in reality. It was literally, like, maybe a gram of weed. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's story of, uh, why I got sent to boarding school or how I got caught with weed in school. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna title this video yet, but, uh, I'd love to see a bunch of you guys in the live stream again, 7 p.m. Eastern time tonight and every night, link down below in the description. Again, thanks for watching today's upload. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your evening and I can see a bunch of you in the stream in a minute. I'm out. <laughs> Yeah, my cousin trapping that trapping I put these beats, you know that I got an appetite. Yeah, that girl told me she only fought with them.